I wanna, you know, the Pimp C thing, I'm a big fan of Pimp You, I, I knew the day when I got here I was going to give me a Pimp <laughs> story. That was a, If you watch Boss Talk, y'all already know how I am about that, man. Yeah, he loves Pimp. And I, I want to ask you who, was, who had the best verse on Big Pimp, and you better not say the wrong thing, man. You know why. Big pimping. <laughs> yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. But okay, so earlier he asked you, he's like, if um, Tupac was still living in this internet industry, where he would be. Now I want to ask you about Pimp C. <laughs> uh, I think Pimp C would. Because as outspoken as he was. I was thinking, I think, I think Pimp C, who he will rem most remind me right. of right now, who? probably Paul from 3-6. Wow. Really? Wow. How Paul is, Paul, Paul, Paul and Pimp was on the same type shit when we were kids. Like, Paul was a fool with it. He'd get down. He'd get down quick. And they always were cool. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And how, if you look at... Paul now, like, Paul got away from Memphis, got to California, produced some more records. Won him a Grammy this year with Killer Mike. Awesome. And you Love could just, it. You could just tell that he, uh, he got a chance to live. Mm -hmm. You know, when we in survival mode, it's like we in survival mode. But I think that's what Pimp never got a chance to live. Like, you, you see it with Bond now, with Bond and Pimp. Like, I mean, with Bond and Queen, like, I mean... He ain't in survival mode no more. Like so, he it's enjoying like, life. He can, he can, he can chill. You know, Chill what I mean? is doing great. Yeah, and you know, like back then, it just we we it just wasn't no time to chill. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And you know, when he, once he came home from jail, it was almost like he was trying to get back all the time he lost. Yeah, and um, but you can't get back time, and that's what the youngest got to understand that you can't get back time. So take the examples. This is the I think this is the only generation that don't want to listen to their elders, you know. I and I think that I think that's a big mistake for the youth. That that one thing, yes, y'all and came up with more information than us, and yeah, y'all in a lot of ways it makes the younger young feel like they smarter than us. But it's not that you smarter than nobody. It's just that. Life has an experience that the computer can't give you. I agree a hundred percent. I want to, you know, the Pimp C thing. I'm a big fan of Pimp. You, I, I knew the day when I got here, I was gonna give me a <laughs> Pimp story. That was a, if you watch Boss Talk, y'all already know how I am about that man. Yeah, he loves Pimp. Uh, and I, I want to ask you who was, who had the best verse on Big Pimp, and you better not say the wrong thing, man. You know why? Fuck them, hug them, love them, leave them, but I don't trust the need. Big Pimpin'. She. <laughs> Damn, man. Hey, look. Hey, boy. I'm, I'm arguing. With, I'm, I'm, I'm with him when he gets the call. Really? I'm with I gotta him. hear this I'm, story. I'm with him when Bun, like, yo, like, we're going to shoot the video over here. You got to come over here. He's like, oh, I ain't, I ain't going no goddamn. Well, I'm going to go to Trinidad for a shoot a bitch. Man, look, man, we go to Miami, man, man. That man drove to Miami, put the car on the beach, and did the thing, did the video. So for me personally, I just knew that he always knew that I got a certain way I do things, and I'm going to do it my way. And I think by him doing it, it made UGK special. Mm. Wow. Because we interviewed um, Minister Seymour in Chicago. Minister Seymour. And yeah, I know that. <laughs> Minister Seymour. And he said that's where he was the one who did the white coat, the white mink coat. And yep. I, and I, at that uh, play, I Choose You video shoot. To choose it, lover, never without a rubber. Never in the sheets like it on top of the cup. Stop playing, y'all, y'all boys, man, and that was Pimp C. I'm a, yep. that's my number one nah. of all time. Nah. So Pimp C, you know that, that, and me, like when it comes to Texas music, that's where I'm at with mine. So tell me about when you and Valentino and Pimp and Ken and all y'all was sitting in there and done one. I want to know about that. Well, man, game recognized game, so that's why they put it together. Now Pimp, Pimp C came to my beauty shop in Chicago. I didn't know Pimp. Kenny sent him over there. Pimp, he gave me a bag then, a bag of money. Really? And showed me so much love and said, hey man, thank you. Whatever you want to shoot my video, being it, I want you there. 
Man, the man showed me so much love. And the fur coat he got on the white one. Yeah, the white it one. come from Church Furs. I made that coat for him, my company. You made that coat? I made that coat. That was a $25,000 okay, coat. Okay, you, you can't just say that. How did he end up? Did you, he called you and said, I need to get a coat? Man, you done messed me up now. Man, the interview yeah. might stop, boy. I'm a fan no, of him. No, he hmm. came. Yeah. <laughs> he came to my beauty shop. Real player, man. I didn't know him. My barber said, someone here to, to meet you. I said, I don't, ain't nobody looking for me because I don't even come in the barber shop. I don't even come around. So I so happened that day, he pulled up in a Lincoln, a black Lincoln. Gotcha. I was with him. You was with him? I was with him, bro. <laughs> Y'all, hell, that boy, man. That boy, that boy, hell, but he, he, was wait, he was waiting to break it out, too. We had the video. <laughs> we had the video. Everybody was like, hey, boy, pimp, got that pimp about to come out of him. He in there, he in there, nah. Boy, look at my hat. Get my hat like this. I told him, oh, get it to me. I said, man. I said, man, how much you pay for that shit, man? He like $35,000. He paid about thirty something thousand dollars for that. They got the hat and the pimp. He came outside, man. I mean, he put it in. <laughs> but he was just, he was doing his shit, man. It was it was the greatest Texas shit I ever seen. And it was hot. What was the yes. temperature like down there? It was hot. We was in LA. <laughs> we in LA shooting uh the 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 players anthem. <laughs> he out there, he's showing up, he got all the pimps with him, he got the sweet Jane Jones going on. Boy, it was the funniest thing of all time. We thought it was so dope. At the same time, <laughs> Bond was like, Lord have mercy, Jesus, boy. But he had a good time, and that was just such a great day, man. Like, it really was a fun day. Because that day, you got UGK, you got Triple Six, you got Goody Ma, you got David Banner. We just out there tripping, really acting like some real country boy. And it was just so funny because uh, to us, you know, uh, and they talk about that famous line that he would say that day, talking about the, the camera. The camera no, don't that know. Was on Big oh, oh, that was Big Pivot. Big Pivot, Pivot, where the camera don't know no temperature. Oh yeah, don't. And, and he wore, he wore <laughs> mink in both of them. Uh, on, on a summer day. <laughs> summer day. <laughs> he thought. And what I said, man, it tripped me out. I was like, man, I, they were like, man, Pimp went to that. I said, bro, Pimp went. He went and got that Benz, drove to Miami, got that girl. And they shot that shit on the beach, right there on on uh, South Beach. That's the crazy. So for me personally, like the times were just so dope because it was like watching history be made. You just didn't know where you where you where you belonged in it, but you was watching it. You was you was watching the industry change. You was. You was watching the success of Fuji's just being some little hip hop backpack group to go on to sell an eighteen million. Wow! And they and then Lauren turns into what Beyonce was is today. Mm. Lauren was that. Wow! The only reason why Lauren didn't become that because she didn't want it. That's why you got to look in this business that we in. There are gonna be ones that's gonna do everything that these people want them to do to have the trophies and awards. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be others that just live for really the people and the art. I'm cool on the trophies and I'm cool on the industry. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.